low key, I don't have to wash this. The dry oil. Oh, you just be tweaking. So nice and cute, and got my little braid, okay? <laughs> it's destiny and i'm back again with another video i know i've been gone for a long time but i had to get everything controlled and down for school so now since i'm back in school i'm ready to start doing videos again today we're doing a wash day routine so make sure you like subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos and let's get started so now it's time to tangle my hair my hair well i came home um after like doing what i did and i just put it in my bonnet which i usually don't do but i knew i was gonna wash my hair today so i'm just gonna tangle it this is queen beauty hair by the way it's good hair it's just that i didn't take care of it last night and it's kind of oily low key I don't have to wash this, but it's like, it's heavy. See, it's not light no more. Like all the oils that see from my head come to my hair. It's just not the same. So you can tell up close, like it's a lot of build up around my edges cause of the edge control, but yeah. So now I'm gonna just wash my hair. On my leave out, I'm gonna use this, the coconut. The coconut uh, miracle oil on my leave out. Yeah, but now I'm just gonna get in the shower, like wash my hair with the Pantene just for my weave and then deep condition and then use the Aussie moisture. So, see you later. So, this is my hair when I wash it. It originally was Body Wave. Yep, so this is Body Wave, I guess. It doesn't look Body Wave anymore. So now, I'ma let it air dry for a little bit. Then I'ma um, blow dry it. So after washing my hair, I have to like moisturize my hair in some way, like the roots and stuff. So I'm gonna take this scalp treatment and it's like a grease form. So it's gonna um, hydrate them braids under my uh, weave. And like, I couldn't do oil, I can't rub um, black castor oil cause it'll seek into the new hair. So I'm gonna just take this, it's like this, and it's dank smell like medicated something but I'm gonna just take it and then rub it through my braids and also rubbing your scalp like this promotes hair growth so not only I'm using moisturizer my braids but I'm promoting hair growth by rubbing the follicles so I'm trying not to get any like of it on my hair because it will weigh it down and I forgot to do an oil treatment before I wash it so now since I put this on it I'm gonna just let it sit um, let my hair dry for a little while because it burns like whatever the medicine it has in it it kind of burns my head well tingles my scalp it, it doesn't burn anything else i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the dry healing oil spread that just a little bit And this, it's not gonna affect, affect the heaviness, but it does feel good on my head. So, gives it a little bit of moisture. 
Now I'm gonna just detangle it. So now I'm gonna just let like, dry. Uh, whatever I gotta do. I don't know if it's gonna go back to body weight, but I'm gonna just let it dry for about 30 minutes and I'll get back to it. So now it's like 60, 70% dry. So now I'm just gonna blow dry. I'm not gonna like blow dry with my brush because I kind of want to keep the curls once it uh, dries up the body wave. And then I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then straighten my leave out. So, this is it. Blow dry the feel all the way. I think the braids are the braids underneath. Down, I think. I'm trying to check. Yeah, I think it's done. Trying. So now I'm just gonna brush it out. I like how it is. It's so fluffy after I blow dry it. It's fluffier when I straighten blow dry, like with a brush. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave it natural. So, another thing will work is if you just did some braids down, like took some hair, braided it down. You would have got a cute braid out if you let it dry all the way. In my hair today, I'm going to use my iron, um, keratin smoothing iron. These are they. I love these. They get my hair straight, and look how small they are. So they'll get my roots good, which my big iron doesn't. The other ones I have are these pink evolution ones. I'll show you next time when I straighten my hair. Uh, I'll probably do another video. I'll strain my weave and stuff. Yep, but I'm gonna just turn it on, and it's digital. That's why I love about it. Cause it shows you the exact one so i'm gonna go to 400. so now i'm just letting it heat up to 400. the curlers i mean the strainers go up to like 450 and then the heat protecting goes up to 450. but you don't need all that one pass on high heat like 400 is enough people just be tweaking So, yeah, this is a nice part. Now I'm gonna, uh, also, when I'm straightening, I'm gonna use my slick stick. This is the Luster's uh, slick stick for $6.99 at your beauty supply. So, because my hair will not blend. I promise you, I can get it straight ever. It will not blend if I do not use my slick stick. So I'm gonna take my Evan edge control in the toothbrush. So I'm gonna actually, since it's nice and clean right now, I think I'm gonna braid my hair. Okay. So what I do for it to be braided? Oh. Go like this. Just break. <laughs> 
then take up this, brush it out. Okay. So now, I have a little cute braid going. But now I have to hide the hair. I mean the actual braids under it since my leave out. So I'm brush it back. And that's basically what I do on a wash day. Um, it doesn't matter what style I do. Either I'm straightening it or I curl it or whatever. So, this is my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more videos coming up soon. And I promise I'll be doing more videos. So, like this video and see you guys later. Bye. Natural disasters. My baby is big.